Oh man, they've had an incredible, uh, incredible run uh, these four years and you know five years with the kind of with Allie and and Kara Lee. I think one of my first memories was coming here for our official visits and meeting the team and uh, getting to see all the players we get to play with in the future and getting a little taste of Wake Forest soccer, getting to see one of their games and just getting excited about coming to college. My first memory of Wake Forest soccer is the first day of preseason. We started out running the fitness test in the morning, had a hard session and then in the afternoon I remember our uh, 4v4 tournament and it was just a lot faster than I was used to and it was a nice welcome to uh, Wake Forest soccer. So starting my sophomore year I had torn my second ACL over the summer and I had been through it before obviously so I was excited for the season, excited to see the freshman class come in. I knew Aubrey Bledsoe ahead of time because I went to high school with her, had played with her for a couple years. And uh, watching the first couple games, just right into the season, you could immediately tell that that class was something special. We, we knew it was going to be a good class because it had so much balance in it. Um, but you can never anticipate this kind of success. Before my freshman year, we saw them make it to the Elite Eight for the first time. And you know, watching Beth score that goal, I remember watching it on the computer and thinking that I was going to be a part of that program next year. But I don't think we ever thought we would make it as far as we have. And you know, I don't know if a lot of people thought we would have either. It's been cool to be a part of this program for every little baby step that we've had every year. Um, you know, my freshman year, I didn't really understand how big of a deal it was when we made it to the Elite Eight. I you know, I mean, we, we didn't really know much about the program yet as freshmen, but I remember that game against South Carolina was one of the most exciting moments <laughs> that I'll ever remember in my career here. Bess Harrington's last second goal is, is still by far the most exciting moment in these past four years. That run through the ACC tournament was just, uh, you know, we were struggling that, then. We, we had a lot of injuries in that tournament. Um, some significant injuries, you know, Kara Lee was, was out hurt and uh, um, Nazalese was out hurt and um, so we really we were on fumes. I think it definitely boosted a lot of people's confidence. We realized we can compete with the best in the nation, especially in the ACC. Coach got us really pumped up to finish off the tournament. After we had beat UNC in the semifinals, he said that our job wasn't done. We still had to come away with the trophy. So we were really excited to finish off the job and we were ready to go. From a gut check standpoint, they they really they were incredible. I was pretty nervous going into the PKs, but I had a good feeling, and I just kept riding off everyone's positive energy, and everyone was cheering me on. And after one save, it gave me more confidence to make the next, and then the next. In practice, she stopped almost every one of our PKs, so kind of killed our confidence a little bit. But just knowing how strong she is in the goal is definitely helpful. And let's go back in goal. She stopped it! Aubrey Bledsoe with the save! And another save! Incredible! She did it! Wake Forest has won the ACC Championship! I don't know where that came from, really. <laughs> I've never saved three PKs. Um, I just was excited and, you know, celebrated with my teammates. Like, it was like a dream come true. Um, and, you know, we didn't really believe it until we got back to campus and you know all the students came out to greet us and you know even then it, we woke up the next morning thinking it was all just a dream. Any program that can win the ACC championship that tournament is so grueling uh, it just gives you instant credibility. There was something special to have made it to the final four you know it was one more baby step over from the two years previous. As a sophomore going to the college cup it was, it was a little bit earlier than um, you no, know, I had envisioned. I mean, I think going in, gaining that confidence from the ACC tournament and throughout my freshman season, uh, we learned that we could compete and we set even higher standards for ourselves in practice and it translated in games. And we had so much talent on the field and great chemistry off the field that we went in each game confident, played hard and got results. And it was just great to keep going forward. And suddenly we made it to the Final Four and it was just so surreal. I think because it's just a great program. Um, you know, not only soccer wise, you know, they compete every year in the ACC, they make it to, you know, like the NCAA tournament, but also, you know, off the field, like 
this team is just so great. Like you'll never find a greater group of girls than are here at Wake Forest and nothing can beat the friends that I've made here. Being a member of the Wake Forest soccer team means that I'm part of a, a tradition of winning, um, a close-knit family. All the players still come back. Tony's, you know, an, an active role in our lives. Even the ones that have gone through, um, the alumni are so supportive. And really, it's just a, a tight community of all our families and players. I think it means that you're expected to try your hardest on and off the field every day. Uh, be a great teammate and um, compete every day. Uh, make each other better, work hard, and expect greatness on and off the field. You know, you can only hope for it and that everything pans out. And these kids have, uh, they put everything in, uh, put a great deal of work in, and uh, they deserve it. They've, they've earned, uh, earned the success, and uh, I know that they want to finish off really strong.